Well, look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf. You must got some important business out here to be wandering around. But tain't none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other. My boys are hunting lurks. Finest meat you could get. But he don't move around in your stomach like Mole Rack does. Right dangerous, those things. Just as soon take your head off as look at you. Watch yourself out here. They're all over. Some fellas came out here a while ago that said they was looking for some do-gooder that came out from one of them vaults. I told them I ain't seen nobody like that and sent them on their way. They might still be around here, though, if you think you can help them.
that way. Must be a tourist. No offense, but I'm a little busy saving your ass right now. Anishia. You don't need to worry. We're the best You'll have your fill of death soon enough. Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's a negative. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own Initiate Redden is a sterling example. The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup, so if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. Watch yourself out there. the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am.
door stays closed until we finish securing the perimeter. You take the east side, I'll go west. Okay, okay. No offense. Once we're inside, you don't need to worry. We're the best out. Now you're talking. You can follow us as far as GNR, but keep your head down if you don't want it to get blown off. Watch yourself out there. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the lion's pride comes in. Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. Watch yourself out there. Bring on some more super mutants. I'm not finished with them yet. Looks like it's all clear. Unlocking outer doors. Babysitting this place is no picnic, I can tell you that. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. Yep, guilty as charged. <laughs> I don't usually have exposure to the public like this. It's nice to know someone's listening. Makes carrying on the good fight that much easier. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock, a whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day, fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too, and aim to take it by force. They can't, not against those kind of enemies. They just run away and hide, or they stay and die. It just ain't right. So that's where I enter the picture. 
I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The sound of truth goes out across the Capitol wasteland. Hell, someone's got to counter that bullshit on the Enclave station. Oh, I have plenty of enemies that would love nothing more than to put a bullet between my eyes. The only thing keeping that from happening is Sarah Lyons and the Brotherhood of Steel. We brokered a sweet deal. They keep me from taking a dirt nap, and I keep a strong roof over their head. From what I saw, they were the ones who saved your ass. They keep the ruins super mutant free so people like you can get to people like me in one piece. Without them, we'd be knee deep in muty shit. Sorry, I'm so used to talking to an audience that can't answer, I just assume you want to hear my voice all the time. So, you want to know where your dad is? Fair enough. We got one rule in the good fight though. You want help, you gotta contribute. You wanna find your dad, and it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here with Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Good, because this isn't going to be easy. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of DC can hear her cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. Yep, that shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone, leveled. As in, we're never gonna scavenge that part again. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one that can get shit done. Your dad had that same look in his eyes too. That's why three dogs helping you. One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. I want you to get it, and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. You're gonna be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you.
Ah! Oh. 